thank you for that uh, thank you for the conclusion. Nothing is impossible. That's something that all of us should believe in. And as you may be wondering, success just does not come easily. You always have to fail a few times before you start feeling the case of success. I guess you do also know how to do Uh, we come to the seventh speaker, youth leader, sorry, sixth speaker, youth leader Ali Tahe, and his topic is difference between a brain and a computer. Difference between a brain and a computer, youth leader Ali Tahe, speaker and the Good morning, Toastmaster. Sorry, good afternoon, Toastmasters and youth leader fellow youth leaders. Good. Have you ever differentiated between a brain and a computer? The difference between a brain and a computer can be expressed in a single word. There is complexity. The human brain is the most complicated thing known to us. The human brain weighs only three pounds. In these three pounds, there are 10 billion nerve cells and 100 billion nerve cells, smaller cells. Also. These billions of cells are interconnected in a very, in a very complicated network that cannot be understood so easily. Can a computer think? That depends on what you mean by think. If solving a mathematical problem is thinking, then a computer can think. Then a computer can think. And does faster than man does. Of course, most of the mathematical problems can be solved quite mechanically by straightforward processes over and over again. Even the simple computers of today can do so. It is frequently said that Computers solve problems only because they are programmed to do. They can, uh, they are programmed to do. They can only do what men have fed in them. One must remember that that the man. One must remember. One must remember remember that human beings can also do only what they are programmed to do. Our program is very complex. We might like to define as thinking as the creativity that goes that goes into writing a play, composing a symphony, conceiving a scientific theory, or making a judgment. In that sense, computers can think. The brain is made of is made up of cells in a certain arrangement. The cells are made up of atomic and molecules in a certain arrangement. To duplicate, uh, to duplicate the material com uh, complexity of the brain is therefore to duplicate, to duplicate everything about it. But how long will it take to, uh, to build a computer complex enough to, du to duplicate the human brain? Perhaps not as long as the as long as the as some may think. Long before we approach a computer. We will perhaps build a computer which is at least complex enough to design another computer more complex than itself. This more complex computer can design one still more complex than itself. This further complex computer can be divided into one still more complex than the previous one, and so forth. Most scientists and knowledgeable observers agree that computers will change our lives completely more than the automobile, television, laptops, or any other technological innovation has done so far. <coughs> Will a time ever come that a man, uh, when man will have to hand over the job, job to someone who can do it better than he can do? Yes, perhaps, but we will have to wait, but, but we will have to wait till such a wonder takes place over the